Okay, we will try to learn how to expand this expression using binomial expansion. So there are a lot of rules. You can use 1 plus NX formula. You can use Pascal's triangles. But the easiest one to expand this is using a pattern. Whenever you have positive integer, you can directly go with the pattern. Okay, so the pattern is that the first term here is X and the last term is Y. So our sequence, our series will start with uh, sorry, our expansion will start with x to the power 5 and it will end with y to the power 5. So, we are done with the starting and the ending. So, now we will learn how to get the terms in between. Okay, since we have a power of 5, so we'll, we will go like 5c1, 5c2. We will get these values from the calculator. 5c1, 5c2, 5c3 like this. So, this is 5c1. And then you need the term related to x and y, the first term and the second term of your expansion. The power of x will decrease by 1. The power of the first term will decrease by 1. So we will use 4. And the power of the second term, second term is y. Since we have c1, so that's why y to the power 1. So we are done with this. The next one is what? 5c2. 5c2. And the power of x decreased it will decrease 5 to 4, then now 4 to 3. Okay, so x cube. And the power of y is c2, so that's why y square. Okay, so 5c1, 5c2. So the next one will be 5c3. x, uh, 5, 4, 3. So now the power will be 2. And power of y will be 3. The next one is 5c4, x to the power 1, and y to the power, since we have a 4 here, this is 4. So, the last one is basically 5c5, x to the power 0, y to the power 5. This is actually 1, so technically we are left with y to the power 5. So, that's the reason I just started the math with the first and the last one. That's easier. You do not need to go for the uh, c thing once you reach a power of 1. When you get x to the power 1, then you just stop the pattern thing. And the first and the last term, it's already there. Because we filled up the expansion with the first and the last at the very beginning of our problem. And then in between, you go with the uh, C format. 5C1, 5C2, 5C3. Until you get uh, x to the power 1. The next step is to just simplify this thing. The next step is to simplify. So x to the power 5 is x to the power 5. 5c1. You will get this value from the calculator. So 5c1. So you need to type 5. And then use shift division sign. This will give you a c on your calculator display and then 1 equals, then that will give you the value of 5C1. So 5C1 is basically, sorry, 5C1 is 5. Yeah, 5C1 is 5. So this is 5, x to the power 4y. Then we need 5C2. So 5C2. So 5C2, which is 10 x cube y square 5c3 this is 10 5c4 which is 5 so that's it we are done with binomial expansion using the pattern thing so whenever you you, you use the c format pattern make sure that your condition is uh, fulfilled the first condition and the fir the only condition here is that this power should be a positive integer if you don't have a positive integer suppose the power is a fraction or you have a negative thing in that case you cannot use this pattern format you need to go with the formula one plus nx and uh, nx formula but um, if you have a positive integer you can go with this pattern thing which is very easy uh, and you need to know that if you have a power of negative suppose x minus y in that case 
you can select first term as y and the second term uh, so first term as x and the second term as y and for this negative part you just go like this the first one is positive so negative positive negative positive negative initially i just added the term right but if you have a negative sign you can go like positive negative positive negative in that case your second term is only y okay you select only y without the sign for the sign i have used alternate uh, plus minus along my expansion and if you have suppose 2x minus 3y to the power 4 example number 2 suppose if you need to expand this so this will be 2x to the power 4 this is the first term and the last term is 3y to the power 4 so since i have a negative sign so i am starting with positive so the next one is negative then positive negative like this so 4 so i will use 4c1 4c1 first term is 2x so 2x to the power 3 because the power will decrease by 1 okay and 3y i am selecting only 3y because the negative thing i have already used the negative sign by uh, inserting alternate plus minus so it's easier in that way you can even go with plus 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 in that case you cannot use only 3y you you need to select minus 3y but i prefer using only 3y 2x and 3y and for the negative sign i just use the alternate plus minus okay so 4c1 the next one is 4c2 2x to the power 2 and the second term we have a 2 over here so this is 2 so plus minus plus so this one the next one is minus 4c3 2x to the power 1 3y to the power 3 since we have reached this one so we won't continue with the pattern anymore and the last term was 3y to the power 4 like this so as you can see the power of the first term decreased by 1 power of the second term increased by 1 or you can remember the power of the second term is equal to that of the value here related to c the next step is to just simplify this thing so 2 to the power 4 which is 16 16 x to the power 4 then 4 c1 4 c1 is 4 2 cube is 8 8 x x cube 3 y then 4 c2 4 c2 is 6 2 x whole square means 4 x is square 3 y whole square means 9 y square 4 c3 is 4 from the calculator 2 x 3 cube is 27 y cube 3 to the power 4 is 81 y to the power 4 then i will just multiply this 4 into 8 into 3 which is 96 x cube y 6 into 4 into 9 which is 216 216 x square y square 4 into 2 into 27 which is 540 x y cube and i'm done with binomial so whenever you have a positive integer you can go with this pattern format.